Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Repent and live. That's the message of Scripture, Old Testament and New. The gospel of salvation through Jesus Christ is at the same time a call to repentance. Did you know that Jesus never offered a single thing to impenitent sinners? 1 Thessalonians 1.9 says, They tell how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. That's repentance. That was the mark of the Christians and Thessalonians. They turned to God from idols. An idol is anything that's more important to you than God. Repentance is turning to God and putting him first, turning away from sin to serve the living and true God. When the Thessalonians made Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior, they turned away from their sin of idolatry, which would be any sin. They repented of their sin. Repentance is a renouncing of all your sins. Repentance is a turning away from all your sins. I mean, you can, you can pray for Christ to save your soul from hell. Uh, you can pray and pray until your throat is sore, and it's not going to do you one bit of good until you combine that prayer with repentance. A willing to give up 99.9% .9 of your sins is not repentance. It's not turning to Jesus with all your heart. You must be willing to forsake all your sins while at the same time making a commitment to obey God and trust completely in the sacrificial death of Jesus Christ on the cross. And so I need to say it again. Jesus Christ never offered a thing, not one single thing, to impenitent sinners. And I'm not saying that you have to earn God's favor or earn salvation. Certainly not. You can't earn the right to receive Jesus Christ by doing good works. That's not repentance. Repentance isn't building up your holiness to a certain degree and then now you're able and you're worthy to receive Christ. That's not repentance. And anybody says that that's what Michael Moret teaches is lying, it's not true. That's not repentance, that's reformation. God isn't commanding you to reform yourself and then receive Christ. He's commanding you to repent. Repentance is a change of attitude. It is an attitude that says, I am turning away from my sin, all my sins, in my mind, in my heart, with all my heart, I'm turning away from all my sins, and I'm turning to Jesus Christ. I'm asking Jesus to save my soul and be my Lord. A day of judgment is coming for you. It's coming for you just as it's coming for the people in the cities that Jesus condemned here in the book of Matthew. You have sinned. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And God commands that sinners change, that they repent, or they can't turn to him. They're not serious. And one thing God absolutely demands is sincerity. And so, repent and live. You can study all of God's Word with me, verse by verse, Genesis through Revelation, using my audio Bible messages for a complete series going through the whole Bible at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen. To be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, pray for me and God's Word. And when you take a break from studying at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. That also makes you a part of this ministry. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break. So long.